views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guidance guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the show. Boy, have I got news for you today. Good stuff. Um, I actually have a sore um, arm all the way up to my elbow today, but that's because I've been nonstop working on our angel retreat clubhouse that I've been teasing you with for, what, a month. We officially opened it last night. Yes, we did. And I did want to tell everyone that. I did put the link if you want to check it out. It's right there in the show description. Uh, So you can go see if you want to be a part of that. And I just put it there like that. That's on my YouTube. I've also put a link to it on the show page at jenroyster.com if you're watching there. And you can go to my website and go right to the Learning Center and just scroll till you see Angel Retreat. And then you can go check it out and see uh, if you want to be a part of it. Right now we have it open for kind of a founder's beginning. Uh, We have something special going on for the first 100 people that sign up. And they started signing up last night, which I didn't expect because we barely had it out there. and We've already got a few people in there. And please know it is very brand new. So founders and the first 100 people are part of something we are creating brand new. So we want you to tell us what's working, what's not working, or what's missing, or ooh, because we've been working really hard. And whenever you put something out brand new, just think about when your computer has all those updates. We have to fix them. So we want to know, but we're staying on top of it. So I just wanted to make sure I put that out. I've been so excited to tell you it's finally open and we are going to be loading all kinds of cool stuff. We're going to start one of our first exclusive live streaming events. I'm putting it together and I'm planning to put it out uh, in the next few days because it's for the 11 energy. So you, that's going to be in the group though. That's something extra. So you just have to just check out things. Okay. I don't even have that up in there yet because I'm planning to do it either today or tomorrow. So that's what's going on. We've been just cramming that in. Now, what are we talking about today? We're talking about this 11 and 11, 11 energy again, because it's coming right up on a November 11th, but also we just had the new moon come in. And the new moon, if you watch the show, um, when was that? I think it was last week. (laughs) I think that was last week when we were doing the November energy. The new moon uh, brought in some positive energy. So that, that shift of energy is starting to transition to something that will be very uplifting. And I want to talk to you about that. Some people get upset if they've been going through some tough stuff. They get mad like, where's the positive You have to choose, okay, I'm just going to tell you the way it is for me. When I choose not to connect to it, then I'm going to experience the other. When I decided, no, I'm going to make an effort 
to lift my vibrational frequency, which is what we're going to talk about today, because now you're aligning with 5D, 5D living, you're actually changing and shifting the reality. We're talking metaphysical, energy, quantum, whatever you want to call that. It's kind of a little bit of all of it with the assistance of angels, because I work with angels all the time. So I've always brought them into the mix because they've never let me down. They have been incredible support and they have always pointed me in a direction that has always been the best outcome. Sometimes it doesn't always feel like that if you're second guessing it because you're wondering why you might be going through what you're going through at the moment. But when you just hang in there and you practice, okay, there's a reason for this. What can I learn? We find that things shift. And then you'll see why. So that's kind of a summary, really, about what this show is all about, what we've been doing, and what we're building in the momentum as a group, as a family, for those that love the show. Now, the um, the thing when I was telling you about the angel retreat, that's something that you guys have asked me for. So we put a lot of effort into putting it together, and it will help support us putting the show out there and just shining the light in the world. Plus, you'll be there to support one another. It's it's going to be that type of uh, class with lots of live events that are in there. We're going to have all kinds of cool stuff in there. Just a little bit deeper than what we can do in one hour on the show. We feel like we just barely brush the surface in the show and then we, we're out of time. So this gives us opportunity to go a little bit deeper into those metaphysical topics, the angels, your own intuition development, 5D living, raising your frequency, energy healing, all that stuff. We're just going to have a good time in there. So that's what that's about. You can check it out to see if you want to be a part of that. Now, here's what's going on really cool with this energy right now. And I'm already starting to feel, I started feeling it last night. Um, I was so tired. I was, I was so tired. I was exhausted from all the pushing and hard work we were doing on that group. But we, because we were up till late just trying to get it worked out. And I kept feeling this incredible positive because sometimes when you're going through something that you work really hard on, and I've been passionate about sharing my love for metaphysical topics and higher living, higher divine living, connecting with your soul, a spiritual way of life. I've been passionate for years sharing that with whoever I can, whoever wants to listen to it. And so the show has been a blessing for me as well, where it gives me a platform to share my truth with you. And that's my intention is to draw in who I can lift and, and, and who is interested in these topics, not people that aren't, you know, I mean, there's some people that won't be, that's okay. But I was so tired. And, you know, when you do that and you're working so hard, you feel sometimes discouragement, or you start to feel like, why am I doing this? And it's not, you know, it didn't feel like that last night. And then I realized, wait a minute, that's the energy of the new moon. We are just coming out of an intensive energy that brought up everything that needed to go away. It can feel very intense. It can feel overwhelming. Um, Now we move into this now, as you're releasing it and letting it go, it will feel less. It will feel less negative. I don't know how else to explain it. It's like there's this positive, like yeah, you can do this. You can let this go. It'll feel easier, and it's gradually just kind of flowing in, and it's gently rolling in. So when I stopped and I realized that's what's going on, I stopped and I took a deep breath and I just wanted to bring more of that energy in, into my own being. And then I wanted to radiate that right back out because, you know, why not? I want other people to feel how good this feels, no matter how tired, no matter how hard I was working. It's a, you know, it's like you're seeing your life, your reality, your experience in a completely different way because you chose to. And you, you know, that hesitation, like, I don't know if that's for me. I don't know if it's ever going to work out that way for me. I mean, I deal, I deal with a lot of people coming, you know, from a dire straight mindset and they just have been going through so much. And my compassion is, you know, heartfelt for them, but 
I want to lift them. I want to show them possibilities. I want them to know that life is not here to do that. It's to help you grow. When you look at things from a soul level, it's very different. Um, And some people just, you know, they're just feeling so beat up by life. This energy is really going to help lift. I, I believe it will lift everyone. I believe it will lift you if you choose to tap into it. That's what I want you to help me do today as a group. We want to we want to tap into that. This is perfect setup to be in a mindset differently when the 11th comes around. Now, that energy is already starting to ramp up. It has been the whole year. Remember, it's an 11 year. It's the 11th month. The November the 1st was like that. Now on November 11th, it's even more so. It's a very unique date that's just very strong on that energy of one. It's a transformative number. It is the first number at the beginning of something. So if you feel like a lot of things are just not working in your life, they're fading out, you know, you you feel like you're grieving of something that's lost, things like that. It it's there's something that's emerging past and beyond that. So the focus is to redirect what you're paying attention to. So it, we're going to just go through all of these things in different ways because there's a lot here that's very positive. Now, really quick before we go to break, let me say hello to my angel family over there, over in YouTube chat. I see you guys over there. Hello, David, Kelly, Kim, Jody, um, and Skyla. Hello. Good morning to all of you. Ooh. And David just joined. Awesome, David. All right. He just signed up. So thank you, David. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, there's a few that already were in there last night. So like I said, this is like a platform with a clean slate where we're going to just be piling a lot of stuff in there. So when you guys first get in there now, realize we're loading it up. And this is for you, too. You go in and you start topics. You go in and you put out what you want because we want to go into it deeper. So I love it. So thank you, David. And um, oh, and there's Barbara. And Barbara, I got your email. We're going to talk about it today in just a bit. And Barbara just showed up. And for those that might be watching the live stream on Facebook, our network Transformation Talk Radio is hosting that on Facebook. And I shared it to my two Facebook pages. So they're monitoring everything going over there. They'll let me know if there's anything coming in from over there. Um, Guys, I'm excited. I feel like we've been waiting our lifetimes for the energy that's rolling in now. And I couldn't imagine a better way to celebrate than be with you guys because we're all on this journey of spiritual awakening. So I don't know. I feel like it's a celebration time. They keep lifting me to be excited and I have to calm myself down or I'm going to knock my microphone all over the place or I'm going to trip on something. And, you know, it just, I get like that. I get very giddy like a child, but that energy keeps me alive. I absolutely love when there's something new coming around the horizon and we're going to discover an insight that we may never have noticed before. I'm the same way you guys are. I share everything that I'm discovering and I want you to find it too. So that's what we're doing today on the show. We're going to work on the positive energy that's powering up that just came in with this new moon for the 11-11-11 date coming up right around the corner. This is a good time to be here and celebrate where you are on your spiritual path, no matter where it is. Even if you feel like you just got started, this is going to be very uplifting for you. It's a powerful manifesting combination here. So we're also going to work on that. Um, Other than that, you know, we're just going to keep, we're going to work with the angels on it. We're going to look into some of the insights that they have for us and they're just celebrating with us. I mean, it's just time, right? So stay tuned, stay with me. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to start diving into this topic If you have questions, you can throw them into the chat. We'll get to them, and we will be right back after the break. Hi, 
Hi, this is Laura Richer, host of On the Verge Radio. Sometimes you hear encouraging messages like transform your life now, become empowered, create the life you crave, and it all seems overwhelming and you're not sure where to start. I'm here to tell you that self-improvement is not always fun and easy, but it is always worth it. The path to creating positive changes begins with releasing the things that have been holding you back. Then you can create a life that inspires you. I know this because I've done it. You can find out more about what I do by visiting my website, seattlehealinghypnosis.com. I look forward to supporting you on your journey. Tap into the wisdom of animals, angels, and masters with Darcy Pariso on Animal Soul Wisdom Radio. Tune in monthly as Darcy brings insights on how to better understand and deepen our relationships with animals. Working with light and pureness of ancient techniques, Darcy, healer, animal communicator, and medium, is here to guide you through this process and provide inspiration to move forward. For more information about working with Darcy, visit DarcyPariso.com. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show, talk radio to thrive by. I am so thrilled to be talking to all of you. We have got talk radio for all of us. Are you ready and willing and able to accept all of the abundance you can muster up in your life? Yeah. Check us out at drpatcho.com, transformationtalkradio.com, transformationradio.fm. Oh my goodness. If you're dealing with fear and anxiety, you've probably noticed that the more you fight these emotions, the stronger they seem to get. Dr. Friedemann Schaub, the author of The Fear and Anxiety Solution, explains that instead of suppressing, we need to identify and resolve the deeper, subconscious root causes of fear and anxiety. His personal breakthrough program has helped thousands worldwide to overcome their emotional challenges. To learn more, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com and schedule your free consultation with Dr. Schaub now. Join Jennifer Noel Taylor on the hit show, Quantum Touch Radio, supercharging your life on TransformationTalkRadio.com. You'll take a quantum journey as we reveal powerful yet simple steps to create more abundance, better health, emotional and mental vibrancy, and happier relationships using universal quantum touch principles. For more information, visit JenniferNoelTaylor.com. Do you believe you are meant to live with more joy, but you're just not sure how to get it? What does the phrase, give me the joy, make you feel? Join me, Lynn Horde, every second and fourth Thursday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, on the Give Me the Joy Show, as I take you on a journey to peel back the layers so you can take back your joy. To find out more about my work as the Joy Coach, including my popular programs, Joy School and Joy at Work, visit lynnhorde.com. And welcome back to the show. Okay, now we got some cool stuff going on. So first of all, what's interesting was the first thing I wanted to address with, and you'll love this, Barbara, that sent the email in. Uh, This goes right in line with probably everybody feeling like this. What might feel new, strange, you feel like you're in the dark, out of the comfort zone, uncomfortable, is more than likely a blessing that you might not realize yet. Keep that in mind. Everybody, whatever you're going through, it's things are waking up. The, there's physical signs coming in from all over the place. I've been having them draw. I mean, they're just everywhere. And I, my, we have been over here, we have been just wowed by, oh my gosh, look at that synchronicity. Oh my gosh, look at that. Like yesterday, Working on the angel retreat, I finally got it live and online ready for you guys to go in and register at um, one. It was a, it was one eleven p.m. and I went. I didn't try to do that. I just happened to look to see what time it was because I was cramming so much in. I still had to get a newsletter. I was doing all this stuff. We were just so busy. I look up and it was eleven. It was 111. I went, okay, there it is again. And and I thought that was cool. It made me smile. We've had positive things just landing in our lap through nature. So if you guys are feeling, you might even be feeling some unusual aches and pains that seem to have all of a sudden popped up. I wanted to address that as well because 
it seems like everybody's got this little tickle in their throat all of a sudden, and we can always logically go, oh, if you're down in Florida, it's red tide, which I hope is gone by now. Um, oh, it's the season change. You know, you can logic it out, but there's also something else going on as well. If you have absolutely nothing going on and you still have this little tickle, the communication energy is clearing out the cobwebs. I found out recently there's a lot going on with that fifth chakra with communication. Uh, Archangel Gabriel came through with that for me because I was asking. I go, what is going on? Do I need to figure something out? Because I had it. I actually had it about 30 minutes before the show, and I realized I had just asked to clear my communication so I could speak clearly to you and make get the message across that they want me to share. And then there was this little tickle, and I went, oh, of course, right. Then it was gone. So if you're finding that little interesting things like that are going on, like, you know, what is this? Why do I have a weird ache in my knee? Why, why all of a sudden do I have this? Don't fret that something's wrong. Look at it differently. I'm I'm saying take care of yourself physically. I'm not telling you not to, okay? If you got something physical going on, obviously take care of it. But but I want to show you a different mindset that this positive energy is helping us to do. And it's to look at it, go, well, what's clearing away? What's coming up to the surface to clear away? There's a lot of that going on right now, which I thought was very cool because we need that. We need those obstacles to go away. So you will more than likely feel them in your physical experience, the existence, physically, your body or your environment or your your situation. You may feel that. So let me go ahead. And I've mentioned Barbara a couple of times. So let me read her email and let's see what we got going on with that. It says, I am going through some major shifting that's been ramping up since October 31st. Okay, that's totally making sense, Barbara. You see, Uh, can you ask the angels if I am on the right track with the changes I've been implementing? It doesn't sound, I'm not hearing a no. It sounds like, you know, I'm listening. Let's see. Let's see what else she says. I have real issues with self-doubt, but don't want to be small any longer. Okay. I'm asking Michael. Michael, because Michael's coming through really strong for that one. Uh, First of all, everything you implement, if you implement with passion and that's your conviction, that's what you want to do with your life, it's not wrong. Two, the second guessing can muddy the waters a little bit with what you're trying to express to the universe, what you want to attract in. So when we're second guessing, sometimes we feel like we just, you're probably feeling the energy go back and forth like, yes, no, do you want it? No, yes, no. Here's where this energy right now, Barbara, will help you and many others that are feeling like that. Don't. Second guess, right? Well, then how do you stop second guessing if you second guess? You know, because everybody does it a little bit like, I hope that was right. Well, when you say a sentence like that, let's use the energy behind the words there. When you say something like, I hope that was the right decision, there's actually doubt energy behind that sentence. Can you feel it? Or you shift it and you may do that. You may go, okay, I hope that was the right thing to implement in Barbara's example. Instead of saying it that way, go, you know what? Let me rephrase that. This is what I'm implementing. This is what I want. And just completely command it with confidence, whether you are completely on board or not. Because if you start somewhere, the energy follows that. Um, I've done that with things that were a little more challenging to completely immerse myself in. Then I've been proven wrong by the universe like you would not believe how they're like, I second guessed my abilities and energy healing. And it's not even me doing it back when I was working with an office with people. Um, you know, it was very beginning. It was years ago. And I thought, I don't know, you know, if I'm doing this right, you know, you kind of wonder and it's very normal to feel that way. Well, I was in the process of learning how to completely just let it all go. And this would apply to everything you're doing here. Okay. I was just learning how to just let it all go. 
not worry about the outcome, just trust and allow that divine love energy to flow through me for that person. I don't need to keep it. It's not my journey. That's what I was in a process of learning. So you go back and forth a little bit with that when you're working with energy. Well, so then I got, you know, and I kept asking for that assistance to have the confidence in it. So you know what they did? This is where they brought me a challenge. Um, I was presented with someone that had a very serious terminal cancer. And I'm thinking there's no way I can, you know, because I'm still think there was no way. And I was still thinking me doing it, right? Well, it wasn't me doing anything. They wanted me to believe in just the power of the love energy. And this person was given a six months terminal uh, diagnosis with or without treatment. I was like, well, what am I supposed to do with that? You know, this is how I was. This is how I felt. That's the second guessing. It wasn't me doing anything. Think about it that way when you're implementing or trying to forge a new path. Your I am's not afraid. Your higher self's not afraid. That spark of you that's divine is not afraid of anything. And you don't hesitate when you're in that mindset. So, this person wanted to do the energy work. So I said, okay. So I did an hour and a half of energy work, but we also were working on, you know, the issues that, you know, were the metaphysical or energy behind the root cause, which is what I was doing with energy. So it's kind of like you're bringing up these emotions that might be stuck and things like that. We're not interfering with any of the medical stuff here. We're just working with this person in spirit. And, hour and a half. It was a heavy session. And I always got really hot when I was doing them and I was just drenched. I mean, drenched. We were both drenched, like just from the, from the energy just burning off. That's what would always happen. And I just, we worked on, you know, things he could do naturally to support himself while he was going through treatments and things like that. And we talked about how, you know, it's a choice for him to believe and trust what he wanted to do. So he said, no, I, I am. So I gave him everything I had, what I knew. And I was really not sure. I, I was feeling this weird thing with that, but I was just letting, I was just getting out of the way. Cause I felt like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to let the divine do that. And that's what I said that day. Well, I hear back that was in August I believe of 2006 and in October of 2006, they did that PET scan, that whole body scan to see how bad everything was. And it was completely gone. I didn't do it. So all, all the doctors in the medical community, they're like miraculous recovery. It's just completely gone. I mean, what he did it. I mean, it wasn't me. It was that energy. So anything, and I went through all of that. And some of you may have already heard that story before because that was a few years ago. But what I'm telling you is no matter what it is you're doing, let it flow through with divine energy into it. I mean, whether it's cleaning your house or starting a new job or, you know, just let that part be the part that's doing it. Because when I just felt like, Okay, my ego, I, you know, that was what it was. So I wanted to share that because that's kind of a big one. But let me tell you what, that, when I found that out, that dropped me to my knees and I never doubted energy work again. Has, and it's always been part of my own personal health care because I'll never doubt ever again. But I was given that challenge, you see. So that challenge helped me to be where I am today, helping and sharing what I know. You see, that's what I mean. So I wanted to share that. Now, let me go and see what's going on on the chat. I see lots of activity over there. We have, okay, so Barbara's saying she agrees. There's lots of new happy energies. Um Maddie, hi, Maddie. I uh, didn't know it was possible to feel this way, but I believe so deeply that incredible things are already on their way. Absolutely, Maddie. They really are. Uh, David is saying, I am normally the sender of good energy, but need to be a bit of a grateful taker today. Been a tough couple of days, so I'm reaching out. Okay, everybody. 
Everybody take a deep breath and send a lot of love to David. He's done it for us before in the past. Remember that day where he was doing it? Everybody send David some love over there because you know what? That's what we want to do. We want to send that support because guess what? We're going to have our challenges, but when we are tapped into this positive energy that's flowing in, those challenges become so much smaller than they felt before. And they're like, you know, I didn't, there was a time when this would just stress me out. This would just affect me so much. And now it just doesn't matter because I'm, I just feel too good inside. When you have your soul thriving like that on that kind of joy, anything's possible. You can get through anything. So I'm sending it to you. I'm sending it to all of you. Numbers and animals, lots of 1010 for Skyla. Ooh, you know, I get the 1010 a lot. I'll get 1011, 1110, 1111, 1010. Oh, I know. That's a very cool number. You're magnified by the 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 divine. That's a the zero is a very interesting intensity behind the one and it's the beginning. So lots of new stuff for you coming. It just feels like lots of new things that you're looking forward to uh, or they're coming. Maddie's saying, I'm wondering if I'm correctly interpreting signs about trusting my feelings about the person in my life. Am I on the right path towards accomplishing my mission? I keep seeing 1111 everywhere. Well, you're in a major shift and transition. Absolutely, Maddie. And interpreting and trusting the feelings about the person. Don't ever doubt your instincts. However, you don't have to act strongly on them if they're they're coming in and you're going, man, seems like okay, but maybe not. What I'm picking up on that one, Maddie, right away is, and this comes from Michael, to protect and keep yourself safe. And it's nothing negative sometimes. Sometimes we're just not sure if it might be a real positive thing we're getting, but we don't want to, you know, jump the jump, jump into the hoops too quick, you know? So what it's saying to me is if you're in the 11s, if you're seeing a lot of the 11s and the shift is coming, part of the shift that I'm feeling for you is I'm see. this is weird. Um, Michael's got me and he's, he's rotating me like I'm in a panoramic view and I'm looking over here and this is where, where it was and is, and you're in this constant shift to see your world in a completely different way. That means the people in your life too. You may learn and discover different insights or awareness about different people. So there's no decisions to make, so to speak, about anybody or anything that you might be picking up. It's more open your eyes and be more aware and don't discount or talk yourself out of something that is popping up as an indication of something. Um, it's not quite there yet. I'm feeling like December, end of December-ish, first of the year might make more sense with that whole situation. That's what they're telling me, so I'm giving you that. Okay, let's see. Skyla. Oh, oh, she's got the same thing going on. Okay, well, that's crazy. That's crazy. Barbara, letting it go, reformed control freak. <laughs> hey, kudos. For, you know, I am too. Who isn't, right? I mean... I know. I know. I, I had to learn that a lot too. All very different for me. Thank you. I will trust Kim. That's the same with me too. Ooh, we got some common things going on here. Um, let's see. Oh, she's talking. Thank you, Skyla. She loves the story. Yeah. Let's see. We have just me. Hello. I didn't see you in there till just now. I'm new to all of this, but I'm ready to receive. Well, we're glad to have you. Absolutely. Jody sending Reiki vibes. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Absolutely love it. That's the good energy. Kim is applied for some new positions this week. Do the angels have any messages about those positions? Ooh, I get the impression immediately, Kim, that you will be able to pick and choose where you prefer. You might get a couple of positives come out of that. I, I feel that there might be a couple of more to apply and then you'll see, Ooh, I'm glad I waited. That's the one I want. It could be one of the ones in there, but I feel like you're going to have the option. If you keep your positive vibe, like you already have the perfect job. This is what, this is what they're telling me to use as your affirmation right now. I already have the perfect job and I love it. 
while you're doing interviews, while you're applying, I already have the perfect job and I love it. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Use that because then you're probably going to get a couple of offers back and you're going to get to pick and choose. I mean, that's what I'm feeling for you. Uh, Kim's mainly asking if these are the right kind of positions I should be trying for. That's going to come from where you want to be. So the same affirmation, I already have the perfect job and I love it. If you keep saying that, just constantly write it on a piece of paper, put it everywhere and go sleep on it a little bit. You might be surprised that you'll go, oh, I didn't think about that. That, I'm going to like that because of, or I'm not going to like that position because of. You're asking for your own self-confidence in a clarification of what you actually want in a job. And that's what they're telling me to share with you. That came from Gabriel. I thought that was interesting. Wow. Okay. And confidence, confidence, confidence. Okay. So just know and believe you've already got the perfect job. I did that when I was looking for a place to live one time. I already have the perfect place to live. It's already there. It's just waiting for me. And it did arrive. It absolutely did arrive. Took about, you know, sometimes it took longer. Sometimes when I was looking, it would take six months, sometimes a year. But sometimes it's just the alignment and the timing of events. And it's not where we think it is. It's where the universe is orchestrating all of this. So it can really happen. Sometimes we just have to get out of the way and allow the timing to be more in a divine timing. So a lot of times now when I'm trying to do that, I'll say, for example, with the house, I already have the perfect home and I absolutely love it. And it is ready and waiting for me at the perfect time. Same thing with the job. Same thing with anything. Same thing with all of it. So that's the cool part about that. So I'm going to take a quick, short break so I can grab a drink of water. And when we come back, we will keep powering on with some of this positive energy and how we can manifest very positively for this 11 energy that's just flowing in in a huge way. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening or watching The Jen Royster Show. We will be right back after the break. What is a brilliant culture and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Hi, I'm Barbara Scheidegger, clinical hypnotherapist and founder of Swiss Hypnotherapy. And this is a tip with purpose. Be willing to make a change for the good. If you want to know what your thoughts were like in the past, look at your body today. If you want to know what your body will be like in the future, look at your thoughts today. This was Deepak Chopra who said that. And it's true. But it's never, ever too late to make a change. And many things can be reversed. If you put your mind into it and make an effort, now you can make the change and tomorrow you will feel much better. Start now and look forward. Past is the past. There's no future in it. But in the now, you can find the future for tomorrow. I hope this tip helps you. You can reach me at SwissHypnotherapy.com. Have you ever heard of the 90-10 rule? It goes like this. 90% of the time, no one is thinking of you. 90% of the time, everyone's thinking about themselves. And if you think of it like that, it takes the weight off because now you're not being judged. I'm Megan Edge. I'd love for you to join me on Playing on the Edge Radio, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Radio FM. Learn how to be you in today's world on New Soul Radio. 
Follow host Ruby Betty each month on Transformation Talk Radio as she introduces new rules for new souls in these new times. As a powerful spiritual thought leader, modern mystic, and clairsentient, Ruby Betty is propelled toward a single goal, to awaken human beings to their fullest potential. For more information on Ruby and her work, visit rubybetty.co. Demystifying the journey on From Here to There Radio with your host, Diane Garris. Tune in every third Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com as Diane helps you get from where you are now to the life you envision. Get ready to get unstuck and move forward. Every show features a new special segment, New Age Notes, demystifying hot metaphysical topics of the day. For more information or to work with Diane, visit DianeGarris.com. And welcome back to the show. Okay, we are still powering on. We had a couple more messages in there. So let's see what we have. We have hello to Melmac. Hello, new here. Welcome. Uh, we also have a question from Kelly over in the, I'm over in the YouTube chat. That's where they all are. Uh, hey, Jen, I'm feeling a bit off center and not very positive today. Okay, guys, Kelly needs some love scent. You know what to do. I was wondering if they, they, the angels, have a message as to why or what I need to do to get back on track. Thank you. Kelly? Okay. What you're feeling. Oh, thank you. This is coming from Michael. Oh, I can feel him so strong. Kelly, everybody that might be feeling that back and forth with that, that intense. What's happening is... Kind of like what I was talking about, if you had like a physical pain or discomfort, emotional pain or discomfort, or the the energy or the feelings that can be lower frequency, what is happening is all of this positive energy flowing in is pushing it to the surface. So you will feel it as it's coming up to leave. So what you want to do is be aware positive energy is what's pushing it up and out. And this too shall pass. It will absolutely pass. You just want to go, you know what? You're out of here. See you later. I'm going to feel better now. And it will process, okay? I also feel like some walking movement, um, you know, and I know everybody's in different situations. I mean, if, if something active, it could be writing, it could be singing, it could be Sometimes some sort of expression, it could be just going in the kitchen and baking something, anything. I feel an activity is going to help you move the energy out quicker. Whatever that activity is that's right for you, everybody is in a different situation. So um, you know what activity you need to do, something you probably really love to do, okay, really love to do. Make sure it's something that you don't keep doing repetitively like a habit. Make sure it's something not in your regular daily routine, something completely different. So if you don't take walks very often, for example, that would be an example to do something different. Say you don't go in the kitchen and bake something from scratch or do something different like that. Then do that, you know. What if you just wrote in a journal? But there's something it's something. It's something about an act. It's physical activity, something that would move to get your mind re-engaged. What, basically what you're doing is getting the ego side of what doubts everything and wants to be all, you know, sour puss about everything. You're going to get it engaged into a physical activity so it can get out of the way while the positive energy flowing in can push all the stuff out. Yeah. It works really well. You just need to get the mind busy with something. Get it out of the way. That's that's what that is. Okay, that was kind of cool. You are so welcome, Kelly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, let's see what we got. Now, for some of you, let's let's address a couple of the things that might be popping up. I addressed that, you know, the fifth chakra or the throat chakra might be a little 
active. You might have the cough. You might have the tickle. It's okay. Take care of it. Soothe it. I've even had it too. I've actually got a uh, a, a tea over here if it happens again. <laughs> Because it's clearing out communication blocks. It's clearing out express, uh, expression stuff that's not the right frequency. All this energy is lifting our vibrational frequency. So we don't want to get in the way. We want to get out of the way. Okay? So sometimes we think we're we're helping and then we're just kind of slowing it down. And it's more of a just let it fall where it may be. And when that stuff comes up, like I said, that was a good example of what Kelly is talking about. When it comes up, we don't want to stop it from coming up and going out. We want to help it. We want it to just get out. That's what I mean. So another thing is fear. Fear coming up unexpectedly about stuff. It's coming up to clear. It's coming up to go away. And it could be old things like, I haven't been worried about that in years. I thought I was over that. Goofy stuff like that. You might find that popping up. It's just an old ego program that likes to pop up and just play with, you know. And and, and all you've got to do is just go, you know what? No, no, we're not, we're not playing that old record again. Sorry. Sorry. We're not being nostalgic here. Uh, no more nostalgia on the old stuff, okay? No, no. There's no value in that antique, right? Okay? Think about it. You, you don't want that. So you just go, oh, no, you're, no, I'm not going to be afraid of this. No, not afraid, not afraid to step out and change direction, not afraid to go for what I believe in, not afraid to just sink my teeth into something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. It's go time. This energy is go time. It's going to help lift that out of the way. So let me see. Um, another thing, and I mentioned that when I was sharing the story about the energy work. If you find that you're randomly, and this is you have nothing physically going on, guys, medically or anything, but you randomly are just having this major heat come and flow over you and then it goes away as quick as it came doesn't necessarily mean it's a hot flash. It doesn't necessarily mean there's something wrong. There are physical conditions on that, but if we're talking, if you don't, if you don't have any of that going on, this energy is a spiritual awakening symptoms that come in physically. Sometimes it just gets sweltering hot for absolutely no reason. Then it goes away. I can attest for that because whenever I do energy work, that heat is insane, and it just – I could be in sub-degree sub temperatures, and it's like I'm going to melt the ice caps, you know? It just happens, and then it goes away because it's burning off and transmuting the energy. I always think of it being that flame. Sometimes I don't know if everybody's heard of that before, but some are describing – you know, you put it into the all-consuming flame or the violet flame. It's kind of a spiritual term. I always feel it when Michael's around because Michael helps me clear energy as a light worker and healer, um, as a conduit for that. So it's just burning it off. That's what it feels like. And I'm seeing neck muscles. I've been hearing that one a lot. The neck, yep, fifth chakra there. What? Well, where is that near? Watch out for inflexibility where you might need to be a little bit more flexible if you're having muscle tightness or neck stiffness. Sometimes we might be digging our heels in on something we may, we, we may need to be more flexible about or let go of. That's what you're looking for in that. I just saw that come in on the chat with Skyla. That was a good one to bring up. And yeah, that heat thing, I know, isn't it? Crazy, David? I know. <laughs> power surges. I like that. David calls them power surges. Yeah, it does feel like that. It's crazy. Um, the other thing, that that heats nuts. I mean, it will be so hot, but it really is burning off all that stuff that we're trying that's coming up to go away. That's how it does it for me a lot. And I always am warmer when Michael's around. And he's around a lot because he's always helping me keep it off me. That's what I learned because remember when I was telling that story, 
about doing the energy work if I would just get so hot? Well, because it it was kind of coming off, but it needed to flow through me quicker and just keep going, not stop. And some of that is that. Okay. So the more I um, am aware of that and remember that, and it still happens, I'll still get warm. And it reminds me now, let it go, let it keep flowing, let it keep going, let it keep flowing. That's what that means. Um, another one is this one's weird. This one's kind of interesting, but, and it can get affect and you can feel it in your nervous system, like tingles or strange, you know, things within your nervous system or, um, like you got hot flash, um, like it feels like a match touching or just weird little things. And there are physical conditions for that. Again, this is when there isn't anything. Okay. You might even feel your heart wants to race a little bit more. You know, you're okay. You've had everything checked out. It's an electromagnetic kind of interesting thing going on with that. It's just ramping things up. We're moving on. We're moving up. We're, we're lifting up and out of something that was very heavy and oppressive for a very long time. So it can almost feel like, why is this happening? This feels so strange. I'm not used to it. That's, that's what it can feel like. Just want you to know, guys, when I say all these things that you may feel physically, please make sure you're okay medically, okay? I'm not saying it instead of, but like I said, you don't have anything going on. It's more than likely the energy shifting, especially if you're on a spiritual awakening path. Now, the new moon, and I'm going to keep going. I know we're running out of time, so I'm really cranking here. Um, The new moon brought in this positive energy because it's like, okay, it's time to reboot, rewrite, readdress, wipe the slate clean and start fresh, brand new. Yeah. I mean, brand new. That's why you've been feeling some things are falling away and it's just, whoa. Um, Everybody's got something different that needed to fall away. And I've certainly had mine. But it's like, I call it a do-over when you can go back and clean the slate and just be a completely brand new, improved, upgraded, however you want to call it, human being that sheds light out into the world in a positive way. We're being given the opportunity to do that. This positive energy is that good. Yes, it is. And I absolutely Love it. Now, you can create the most incredible life that brings joy to you. Make sure, and this is the big thing, you know, it's not about all the physical stuff you have, but if you have that happy joy inside you, your outside world will reflect that. So don't don't feel like you've got to have a status quo of any kind. I mean, you're going to see that old way, you know, about how it was and how they do it. And, well, this is the way we do it. And you're not anything until you've accomplished this and all that. That doesn't work with spiritual at all. And I'm sure you are uh, quite aware of that and have noticed that in your own life. It's going to be about tapping into that higher self letting that higher self, that real true part of you, just fill you with the joy you never knew you could feel in this lifetime. You talk about a rebirth, a start over, a do over, a clean the slate brand new kind of a feeling. We're right in it right now. That's what this new moon and this 11 energy is giving us opportunity to do. And I I'm excited about it. I'm excited for everyone about it. It's absolutely incredible. That's what you want to tap into. So when you start feeling all that crazy stuff, don't freak out. Just let that fear pet. Let's say, oh, you're coming up so you can go away. You know, whatever it might be, try to take that approach and try to remember, you know, if you have to remind yourself somehow and you, you're not going to be perfect at it. You don't have to beat yourself up about that either. Just these are reminders. I mean, I've had to remind myself. It's just the way it is. 
So that's what I want to make sure I leave you with today. And before we leave, let me go over to chat one more time quickly because we're about to go off the air here. Um, what do we have? Um, where did I go? Where did I leave off? Okay. Um, oh, Kelly. Kelly is saying thank you. You're so welcome. Um, let's see what else we have. Probably. Oh, no, they're just they're talking about. Let's see. Maddie says, I feel like I've been exploding with energy and ideas the last few days. And today I feel like it's taking more effort to move. But I'm positive. How can I best manage that energy? OK, you're feeling that cinder block of weight of that lower frequency that's it's kind of like the helium balloon and something's holding it down if you would just when you feel tired or you just feel like you can hardly move after a lot of energy bursts just stop rest and just it's kind of like take a couple of minutes of meditation that just let it go just this is what i visualize i visualize when i feel like that that there's this big cinder block weight that i need to move and I'm going to move it by visualizing that it's disintegrating into crumbled dust right in front of me. And then I can just sweep it away. Then I can just sweep it away. Just visualize that, that that's that energy that's making you feel that way. And you may need just a bit of a rest. I've, I feel that too. So, guys, I just think this is a great time. So, guys, do not give up. Go check out the Angel Retreat over at the website. See if that's something you want to do. I've got the link right in there in the description of this show on YouTube if you want to check it out. Um, we'd love to have you in there because we're building something that's going to be really cool where we can go even deeper into topics like this. So I just want to say thank you for being a participant, for being a support to the show. I want to send everyone much love and light as we go through this positive journey into some manifesting energy in the next few days. I love you all. We'll see you next time here on the Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, Visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.